on the fifth day of semester, my uni gave to me five admissions courses to check. Hi everyone, welcome to this fifth day of uni semester. My name is Caroline, I'm a UK-based physics lecturer and I'm tracking 12 days of my career life all the way up until we break for the Christmas holidays. And in the last video, I chatted a little bit about applicant days and my job as admissions tutor and getting them ready for after Christmas. And one of the other jobs I have as admissions tutor is to make sure that our marketing and our course information is all correct. And we offer five courses within the physics department. So I would need to check before Christmas that everything is looking as it should do. Everything's correct on the websites, on the marketing materials. Um, so prospective students who are thinking about coming to study at the university I work at get all the correct and relevant information. So I obviously teach and research in physics. Um, and you can choose as a student to study just straight physics. Um, that's what I did actually as a student. I studied straight physics. I did the integrated master's straight physics degree. That was my, my choice as a student. But there are the other options. So you can study physics or a physics with course. Um, so where I teach, we have physics with quantum technologies, physics with astronomy and physics with nuclear astrophysics. And all three of those sound really cool. Um, but basically for the students, what that means is when they go into their second, third, and if they're doing a fourth, fourth year of study, then their modules are pre-selected for them. So rather than being able to choose from all the modules that we offer, if you want to get a physics with quantum technologies awarded degree, then obviously you have to do some modules that are related to quantum tech. And so in the brochure, we kind of highlight which are the modules that you would have to take if you wanted to get a physics with qualification. So if you're doing straight physics and you're going into your third year, you can pick from all the modules as long as you've done the module that was needed in the second year to lead on to that third year module. And that's why all of our students get a personal tutor. So I'm a personal tutor. I have tutees in the first, second, third, fourth, year of their study and I have master's duties as well um, and part of my job there is that when a student comes to chat to me about their future degree kind of module options I helped work with them to see if there's any ones that they need to make sure they've done this year before they progress into their next year of study but anyway we have these physics with courses so I like to make sure that everything's showing correctly for that I am very lucky at my, my university, we have a great marketing and outreach and support team. Um, so I work very closely with them. So part of my job is I'll liaise with that team and I'll make sure that we all have the same information and that what we're showing for those courses is correct. And then there's also a fifth course that you can do at my university and it's a combined honours. So a little bit different, this is physics and mathematics. So you're doing bits from the physics course and bits from the mathematics course and that gives you this combined honours degree. And so if you're actually doing the combined maths and physics honours and you're on the integrated master's degree, you can actually be awarded either the M Phys qualification or the M Math qualification. And which one you get awarded depends quite a lot on your final year project, whether it's leaning towards physics or mathematics and your selection of modules in the third and fourth years of your study. So I need to make sure that all of that information is captured for the students to be able to see. Um, I need to make sure that all of our modules are correct, or the module leader's information is correct. Um, I check the grade requirements. So we have different grade requirement entry points. If you're wanting to enter on the integrated masters, there's a different set of entry grades from the bachelor's program, which is a different set of entry grades from the foundation course. Um, we do have different grades depending on whether you're going for physics or physics and mathematics. So I need to check all of that. Um, so all of this is part of my job as being a lecturer. So I think sometimes you think of lecturers that we are there and we're doing research and teaching, but actually quite a lot of my time is spent doing my departmental duty. And my departmental duty, well, one of them is being the physics admissions tutor. And I think, you know, maybe that's a part of the job that we don't actually discuss quite as much. Uh, so quite often, you know, part of my week will be spent talking with other admissions tutors, talking with the people who are dealing with our central applicants coming in, talking with the marketing team to make sure our brochures are correct, checking the website, checking all the materials, talking to the course module leaders to make sure they're happy with how things are being advertised. All of that takes up a chunk of my time. And I know this recording is going out on Saturday. Um, I have filmed it, you know, during the week. So hopefully I'm not doing this on the Saturday as this recording has gone live, but I might, I might be doing a few admissions bits and pieces over the weekend. 
But anyway, that is one of the things that I'd be doing in the run up until Christmas. Um, obviously, I've still got another, what, seven days of uni semester to chat about. So although our university semester has now broken for the vacation period, so the undergraduate students have now gone home for the holidays, we still have um, the PhD students on campus, the postdoctoral researchers on campus, and I will still be effectively on campus. Um, I say on campus, I know that at the moment we're all working in like a remote hybrid pattern. Um, but yeah, I don't break for the vacation just yet. I will still be doing university work next week. And if you want to find out what the sixth day of uni semester looks like, please log in and check on Monday. So releasing videos Monday, Thursday and Saturday. Do like, do subscribe. You know, it's really lovely to have this YouTube academic university space. Look after yourselves, take care and I will see you on Monday for the next video. Bye.